You know how they tell us to follow your passion, help others, uh, work harder than the competition, don't expect overnight success, believe in your dream. Well, sometimes even all of that is still not enough. About nine years ago, I had this dream of making content that could give people hope. Hope in, in beauty, in kindness, in their dreams, in humanity. I'm an optimist. I'm the type of person that watches a romantic film and, and thinks, you know what, that actually could happen to me. I believe it could. Not because I feel like I'm more special than anyone else, just because I think if you're willing to risk it all, that those types of things, that, that passion, that, that romance, that that living happily ever after, that, that can all happen in real life. Do you ever go into work on a Monday morning and think, what am I doing here? Like, what is, what is this all about? What is it worth? Do you ever think back to when you were a child and, and, and remember that you had this whole other plan for how your life was gonna be? And this um, blind optimism, the, the, this certainty that there has to be a life out there that I dreamed about when I was a little girl, to find a life that, that, um, that has meaning and passion. If only you, you're willing to take that risk. And so, um, I know it's fairly foolish, but I'm about to give up my uh, apartment, my friends, my family, quit my job as a magazine editor and publisher, leave my boyfriend of five years, and try to make a life for myself in Italy. And I thought, ah, you know, I want to make stories that are beautiful and cinematic and super high production quality but I want them to be real stories like talking to people and or eliciting an emotion making people feel something in their heart. I uh, worked as a journalist for six years in an office to save money. It's going to be hard, I barely speak the language, I don't know where I'm going to live, where I'm going to work, I know nothing but I've got to make it happen because life is too short. I pitched to production companies for a year. Buonasera, ciao Chiara, Giulia e Giulia. Io sono Kylie, eccomi qua. I'm hoping that you see potential in me, even though I'm a bit of an amateur, I'm, I can learn really fast. Hello, um, this is Kylie again. Finally, I find a little production company in Rome who say yes. I think it was about a week or something before I was going to fly out. They email me and say, hi Kylie, we've changed our mind. I was crushed. I just emailed them back and said, thank you so much. I'm still going to come to Italy and I'm still somehow going to make this show. someone doesn't believe in me, I use their rejection as the catalyst for my growth, my self-improvement. If someone comes between you and your dream and you're made to wait, don't waste time getting depressed about it. Use that time to learn a new skill, get more experiences, research your market better. I then moved to Italy, taught myself Italian. I did a whole bunch of, of jobs just to make ends meet. I finally got that TV show made and it sold into 70 countries, but the production company ended up keeping all of the profit and I got paid nothing as the host and the creator of the show. But I thought, you know what, that's fine. This is actually a great lesson because it's gonna push me to learn how to do every aspect of filmmaking myself. So I then over five years taught myself to film and edit and color grade and do audio and lighting and, and fly drones so that I'd never be taken advantage of like that again. And, uh, and then I thought, look, I've got to look at the business side, not just creative. So I often negotiated deals with huge brands like Samsung, HP, Airbnb, Canon, uh, DJI, Adobe. I did a quick check of how many pitch emails I've sent off to networks, partners, brands. It turns out I've written 2,542 pitch emails in English, Italian and Spanish. Just yet another rejection. <laughs> but I just, I can't help feeling like, no, okay, I've just got to keep trying and, and just try someone else and call a different company and, and or call them on a different day when they're in a better mood. And I just keep telling myself this, but at some point you think, <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're right. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Well, maybe you just have to get 
to accept that, honey. This is the way your life is always going to be, just scraping in by the skin of your teeth, but having a hell of a ride. You just accept that that's what drives you, maybe. I'm just worried about everything, your whole life I'm worried about. It's meant to be, it's meant to be this challenge, and this is why not everyone does it. And at what point do you say to yourself, okay, maybe maybe this whole career, this dream is just not meant to be? I think if it is your dream and you love it, then the answer is never. So I created a web series that got over 7 million views, but the content lived on someone else's channel. No, I do. I miss you terribly. And it's, it's a heartbreaking thing to have to say <laughs> goodbye all the time. But you were the one who encouraged me to, <laughs> encouraged me to go out and to, to go after my dreams. And it's because of you're the one who inspires me to, to go out and do these things which everyone tells me are impossible. And, and I probably would be disappointed if you didn't want to go out and see the world. But we haven't done that. You've done that yourself. You're the one that drives you. You really do. Even if you know one word, it's yeah. a beginning of a friendship. Exactly. It's no? alaikum, la best. Yeah. You want to create your life every day. It's everything. It's up to you. I worked on it for nine months, pitching. This company loved it. They loved my work. And then uh, at the last minute, the company said, "We've changed our mind because you don't have enough followers." Uh, I picked myself up and thought, "Right, I'm going to prove them wrong." And I created my own YouTube channel. And I thought, "I'll, I'll finance it myself, putting out videos every week." And the response when I was making content that I truly cared about, like subjects of like empathy and kindness and poetry and, you know, interviewing people around the world to, to break down cultural prejudices and inspire dreamers to, to go after what they what they love. And, you know, the response was, was overwhelming. Your videos changed me, changed my life. Your work is one of the biggest comforts I have in my day-to-day -day life. But I love you and I love your works and keep, keep going. I'm a big fan of you. I'm a big, big, big fan. Thank you for making me feel better about myself. Made me feel really happy to be like I am, so thank you a lot. This girl who's traveling the world and who's filming everything on her own, you know? It gives you hope that there's something amazing and beautiful and kind out there. I think about a year ago when I told you guys I was struggling to self-fund uh, all of these productions, uh, some of you mentioned that I should start a Patreon page and I just thought, oh no, like who would support me? So Patreon is this site where uh, people can choose to become a part of a community uh, that supports their favorite artist uh, to cover production costs. So it could be like someone with a podcast or a YouTuber or a musician. And, uh, and these people can choose uh, whatever they want to contribute so that that artist can be able to get work out more often, uh, which they, they wouldn't be able to do unless they commit to it as a full-time job. You pay whatever you think my work is worth for a month of inspiration. I guess maybe you could sort of think of it like if we were friends and we were meeting up for coffee every week and then like once a month you shouted me a coffee, that could kind of, I don't know, be how it could work. And some artists choose to release their content only to people who have paid for it. And I don't really agree with that. I think that's unfair because, you know, I get a lot of emails from very young teenagers who are suicidal or just, you know, feeling alone. And, and I always want to make my content free for people like, like that. But at the same time, I was just looking at like how much time and money it takes me to put out a video every week. You know, drone repair, $700, camera repair, $1,000. Marketing campaigns, promoting my YouTube channel on Google AdWords, I've spent literally tens of thousands. I'm currently editing on a laptop, like for the past five months, uh, that has a third of the screen blacked out. I can't see, so I have to reduce <laughs> my editing software window down to like 
this size to buy a new laptop will cost $6,000 and I can't afford that. Royalty free music and that's about $70 per track and then as you know in like something like a Dolomites episode I'll use like five tracks per episode and I'm not a YouTuber who like holds out a camera and films in my bedroom or daily vlogs uh, because I want to make stuff that makes you dream because what helped me when I was in an office and feeling really stuck and like my dream would never happen was like content that was both beautiful but also really useful. Look, I, I'm scared to be honest uh, because you say to people, hey, what do you think my work's worth? And then imagine people might think it's worth nothing. <laughs> and that would be difficult, but that's just my pride. That's just my ego talking, right? So I don't know, I feel bad even asking you, but then if just a handful of people did support me, it would mean that I could continue bringing you weekly travel adventures and interviews and poetry and motivation. I don't have a, a boyfriend who's taking all of my shots on Instagram. I don't have a crew behind me. Uh, I, I don't have parents who are funding any part of this. Uh, maybe naively, I, I, I hoped that passion and perseverance would be enough. So at the end of this video is the link to my Patreon page. If you do want to go over there and, and support me with whatever feels right for you, whatever you think my work is worth, that would be amazing. Whether you choose to support me or not, or can support me or not, uh, I really want to thank you because you have got me this far. Thank you and yeah, I guess I'll see what happens. <laughs> Thank you.